Marcus Aurelius once said, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. This wisdom underscores today's discussion. Why walking away is not an act of weakness, but a strategic move that can significantly enhance our independence and negotiating power. Why do we often fear the loss of walking away? In this episode, we'll dissect the attachments that bind us, the fear of the unknown, and how these factors complicate our decisions. We'll also apply principles from Stoic philosophy and modern decision-making frameworks, like cost-benefit analysis and the sunk cost fallacy, to better understand when and why to step back. I invite you to share your experiences in the comments below. Have you ever found strength in walking away? What insights can you share? Let's engage, learn, and grow together as we apply these principles to achieve personal growth and happiness. Join the conversation and let's navigate these choices together. Some people mistakenly perceive the act of walking away as a sign of weakness. However, it's often those very individuals who benefit the most. When we choose to stay in situations that no longer serve us, think about it. The moment we decide to walk away is the moment they lose their grip on us. This act is not one of surrender, but rather a powerful declaration of our ability to flourish without them. Walking away is a strategic power move in negotiations as it demonstrates our independence and strengthens our stance, showing that we are not desperate for the outcome. Yet, despite its benefits, many of us struggle with the concept of walking away. The difficulty often lies in our deep-seated attachments, making it hard to sever ties with what or who we're leaving behind. Why do we cling to these attachments even when they're harmful? This is a question worth pondering. Consider the story of Jamie, a digital marketer who worked for a high-profile startup. Jamie was dedicated and drove countless successful campaigns, but the toxic work environment began to take a toll on her mental health. Despite the high stakes, she chose to walk away from what many would consider a dream job. The decision wasn't easy. She battled with self-doubt and fear of the unknown. However, by prioritizing her well-being over a prestigious position, Jamie found freelance opportunities that offered not only better pay but also the freedom to work on her terms. Her story exemplifies the strength it takes to leave a situation that no longer aligns with one's values and the new doors that open when we have the courage to close others. Have you ever faced a situation where walking away felt impossible, but was perhaps necessary? Reflecting on such experiences can reveal a lot about our values and the power dynamics at play in our relationships and professional lives. Remember that walking away should never be seen as giving up, but rather as choosing to invest your energy wisely. Each step back from a negative situation is a step forward towards something better, a path that leads to growth and opportunities. Walking away is about recognizing when a chapter has concluded and having the courage to start anew. So, next time you find yourself at a crossroads, ask yourself, is this situation conducive to my growth or is it time to walk away? The answer might just change your life. Understanding when to walk away can be one of the most liberating yet challenging decisions we face in life. It's a concept we struggle with due to our profound attachment to the very things we might need to leave behind. These attachments can form not only with tangible items we possess, but also with the mere ideas of acquiring something new. For instance, consider the desire to own a specific car. You've spent months admiring it online, discussing it with friends and family, and imagining the joy it would bring. Each day the idea of owning this car takes root a bit deeper. Even before making the purchase, you've developed a significant emotional investment in this vehicle. This scenario illustrates a fundamental truth about human nature. We often form attachments to concepts and objects, whether they are past memories, current possessions, or future aspirations. These attachments aren't limited to material goods. They extend to people, places, ideals, and beyond. The more we invest ourselves in these attachments, the harder it becomes to sever these ties, even when it might be in our best interest to do so. 
the power of attachment is such that it can end up controlling us, dictating our decisions and actions. Those who recognize our attachments can manipulate them to their advantage. Take the car salesman, for example. Knowing your deep desire for the car, he understands his position in negotiations is fortified. You are more likely to settle for a less favorable deal, perhaps overlooking significant flaws, simply because your attachment to the idea of owning the car makes it difficult to walk away. But why do we find it so hard to let go? As the philosopher Seneca once said, we suffer more often in imagination than in reality. We fear the loss of what could be rather than embracing the potential for new opportunities. Walking away does not only involve losing something, it also opens up a path to something different, potentially something better. How often do we hold on to the familiar simply because we fear the unknown? Consider this. What might you gain by letting go of something that no longer serves you well? Walking away can be a powerful choice. It's a declaration that you are no longer willing to let something outside of yourself control your happiness or peace of mind. It's a commitment to seeking out environments and relationships that foster growth and well-being. To engage with this idea further, ask yourself, how might your life improve if you were to let go of a burdensome attachment? What freedoms might you experience? What new joys could you discover? Engaging with these open-ended questions not only deepens your understanding of the topic, but also invites you to apply these reflections to your own life. As we navigate the complexities of attachment and the decisions about when to walk away, it's essential to remain vigilant and introspective. Recognize when your attachments are shaping your decisions in a way that might not align with your broader goals or well-being. Reflecting on and understanding these moments can empower you to make choices that align more closely with your true self and the life you aspire to lead. Ultimately, the art of knowing when to walk away is about recognizing the difference between what comforts us and what chains us. As Marcus Aurelius reminded us, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. Every decision to walk away is also a step toward something new, an act of courage that paves the way for personal freedom and renewal. Let's embrace these moments not just with trepidation but with a sense of hope and the possibility of transformation. In navigating the treacherous waters of life, knowing when to walk away is a testament to one's strength and resolve, especially when faced with toxic relationships. This concept is not only a crucial aspect of personal well-being, but also a core principle in the philosophy of Stoicism. Stoicism teaches us the value of emotional resilience and the importance of acting in accordance with our true nature and values. Consider the case when one is deeply entwined in relationships, be it with a free and business partner or spousey that are detrimental to our mental or emotional health. The attachment to these individuals or the benefits they provide can cloud our judgment, making the decision to walk away immensely challenging. This dilemma often arises because detachment isn't merely about evading discomfort. It's about losing a part of our lives that, despite the pain, holds significant value to us. Freedom is the only worthy goal in life. It is won by disregarding things that lie beyond our control. Epictetus once said, this quote highlights the stoic belief in focusing on what can be controlled, our responses and actions, rather than external circumstances or the actions of others. Moreover, the emotional manipulation that may accompany our decision to leave, such as shaming or guilt-tripping by those we are walking away from, adds an additional layer of difficulty. These tactics can tether us even more tightly to situations that we know, intuitively and rationally, are harmful to our well-being. To address this, it is essential to recognize and assert boundaries. One must evaluate whether the relationship serves one's higher purpose or hinders personal growth. Marcus Aurelius, a sage of Stoicism, advises, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. This perspective encourages us to reclaim our mental space by understanding that our peace and sanity should not be compromised for the sake of maintaining harmful ties. Relating this to modern life, the decision to walk away can be akin to pruning a tree. 
Cutting off the dead branches allows the tree to grow more robust and healthy. In human relationships, this means letting go of toxic connections to make room for more supportive and nurturing interactions. This approach not only aligns with Stoic teachings, but is also practical advice for leading a balanced and fulfilling life. In conclusion, the act of walking away should not be viewed through a lens of loss, but rather as a step towards personal liberation and self-respect. It is an exercise in understanding and applying our values, an embodiment of the Stoic principle that our true good lies in our own actions and the state of our soul not in our external circumstances or the approval of others. Thus, when the time comes to walk away, do so with the assurance that you are not running from conflict, but instead stepping towards a more harmonious life. As Seneca eloquently puts it, sometimes even to live is an act of courage. In walking away, we are not merely surviving, we are courageously choosing to thrive. Stepping away from something familiar, whether it's a job, a relationship, or even a long-held belief, can be daunting. The unknown often holds a grip on us, steeped in fear and uncertainty. You might despise your current job, grappling daily with stress and dissatisfaction, wondering what could possibly be scarier than enduring another day at a place that drains your spirit. Or perhaps you're in a relationship that saps your strength and dims your light, yet the thought of leaving fills you with dread. What chaos lies beyond the known misery? The future's uncertainty with its murky and unpredictable outcomes can paralyze us, holding us back from taking that vital leap of faith. But here's a modern anecdote to consider. Imagine a young professional named Alex, who after years of enduring a toxic work environment, decided it was time to prioritize peace and potential over familiarity and fear. Despite the anxiety of unemployment, Alex found that stepping away opened up new avenues for growth that were previously obscured by the daily grind of a detrimental job. This move wasn't just about finding another job. It was about reclaiming self-worth and steering life in a more fulfilling direction. Filling. So how do you determine when it's time to walk away? The decision is deeply personal and often complex influenced by a myriad of factors unique to each situation. Yet, it is essential to weigh these factors with a clear mind. What are the costs of staying versus the potential benefits of leaving? Are you growing or stagnating? Does the fear of the unknown outweigh the pain of the current situation? As you ponder these questions, Remember that walking away isn't just about escaping something detrimental. It's about moving closer to something better, even if that better isn't immediately visible. Embracing the unknown requires courage and a profound trust in oneself. It's about believing that you deserve more and that you are capable of navigating through the uncertainties of change. Now think about your own life. Are there areas where you feel stuck? because you're afraid of what lies beyond the familiar? How might your life improve if you decided to face the unknown with courage instead of fear? In conclusion, walking away is not a sign of defeat, but a step towards self-discovery and growth. It is a decision that, though fraught with uncertainty, can lead to a richer, more rewarding life. By facing the unknown with resilience and hope, you not only overcome your fears, but also open yourself up to new possibilities that can profoundly enrich your life. The courage to walk away, therefore, is not just about leaving something behind. It's about moving forward towards a life that aligns more closely with your values and aspirations. Remember, every step into the unknown is a step towards the possibility of a better tomorrow. In our quest for personal growth and understanding, one of the most pivotal decisions we can face is discerning when to walk away from a situation that no longer serves us. Stoic philosopher Epictetus offered a poignant simile to aid in this determination, one I've discussed previously but merits revisiting for its profound simplicity and relevance. Imagine you are in a house where there's a fire causing smoke to fill the room. At first, if the smoke is moderate and there's ample ventilation, it may be manageable to remain inside, 
However, as the smoke thickens and overwhelms, becoming detrimental to your health and safety, the only sensible action is to leave. This analogy serves as a powerful metaphor for evaluating when to extricate ourselves from harmful or unproductive circumstances in life. But how do we apply this metaphor in real life, where the signals aren't as clear as smoke? The concept of too much smoke can be elusive. In some situations, like physical abuse, the need to walk away is glaringly obvious. Yet, in many instances, the accumulation of smoke is gradual and insidious, clouding our judgment with its ubiquity. Ironically, we might fail to recognize the smoke precisely because it surrounds us. How then can we become more adept at recognizing when the air is too thick with smoke, metaphorically speaking? Let's step away from philosophy momentarily and draw upon some economic principles to flesh out Epictetus's analogy, making it more tangible and applicable to our lives. Consider the economic concept of sunk costs, a term used to describe investments that cannot be recovered and should not impact ongoing decision-making. Yet often, we continue investing in a failing venture because of the time, money, or emotion already spent. This is akin to staying in the smoky room because we've grown accustomed to the haze, even as it chokes us. Recognizing when we are falling prey to the sunk cost fallacy can be pivotal in deciding to walk away. Another relevant economic theory is the opportunity cost, which refers to what you miss out on by continuing a specific course of action. What potential joys, relationships, or personal growth are you sacrificing by remaining in your proverbial smoky room? By evaluating the opportunity costs, we might find the motivation needed to move toward fresher air and better opportunities. But how do we cultivate the wisdom to see these signs of smoke in our lives? How do we gauge when it's just a tolerable haze or when it's a suffocating cloud? This is where the teachings of Stoicism can again guide us. Stoicism teaches us to focus on what we can control and to detach emotionally from what we cannot. By applying this principle, we can better assess our situations dispassionately, recognizing when our environment is no longer conducive to our well-being or growth. Let's consider the words of the ancient philosopher Seneca, who once said, Sometimes even to live is an act of courage. In saying this, Seneca acknowledges that there are circumstances so fraught that stepping away might require tremendous bravery, perhaps even more than staying. So I pose this question to you my listeners, in your life. What are the signs of too much smoke you might be ignoring because you fear the act of walking away might be too hard or because you underestimate your own resilience and capability to thrive elsewhere? As we ponder this question, let's remember that the decision to walk away is rarely easy, but often necessary. It is an act, not of cowardice, but of courage and self-respect. It is about recognizing that the air we breathe and the environments we inhabit profoundly impact our well-being and our ability to lead a meaningful life. It is, ultimately, about ensuring that we are not just surviving but thriving. Steps to move away from toxic situations. The first one is the a cost-benefit analysis. The essence of Stoicism is not just about enduring hardship but wisely discerning when to persist and when to part ways. This is particularly true when evaluating various aspects of life, whether it's a job, a relationship, or even your living conditions. The fundamental tool for this evaluation is what we call a cost-benefit analysis, a technique as old as philosophy itself, yet as relevant today as ever. Imagine the house of the ancient Stoic philosopher Epictetus. It stands as a sanctuary offering not only shelter and storage, but also residing in a commendable neighborhood with convenient access to necessary amenities. Over time, this house becomes more than just a structure. It turns into a repository of memories, imbuing it with sentimental value and transforming it into a true home. Yet, even this cherished home can present challenges, such as the discomfort caused by pervasive smoke, which might impair visibility, affect health, and stir psychological turmoil due to its continuous presence. When the detriment of the smoke overshadows the benefits of the house, we reach a critical juncture. 
as Epictetus himself might advise. It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it, that matters. This insight compels us to consider whether the negatives, like the smoke in the house, outweigh the positives. This analogy extends beyond physical living spaces to include personal and professional environments. If a job drains your spirit more than it energizes it, or if a relationship brings more sorrow than joy, these are signs that the smoke might be getting too thick. In modern life, we often endure discomfort for the sake of comfort or familiarity. But Stoicism teaches us to question this inertia. The wise know when to disengage, recognizing that walking away can be an act of strength, not defeat. By applying a cost-benefit analysis, we not only assess the tangible and intangible aspects of our situations, but also align our decisions with our deepest values and well-being. As Seneca once said, part of the cure is wanting to be cured. In the context of our discussion, this means recognizing when the costs of any situation, be it professional, personal, or otherwise, begin to outweigh the benefits. When we find ourselves sacrificing our health, happiness, or values, it may be time to consider a change. This is not an act of surrender, but a strategic retreat, preserving our well-being for opportunities better suited to our growth and happiness. In stitching together the teachings of Stoicism with the threads of contemporary challenges, we find that the principles of knowing when to stay and when to walk away are not only about making peace with the past, but also about moving forward with clarity and purpose. This approach doesn't just apply to big life changes. It can be implemented daily as we choose which battles to fight and which to forego in pursuit of a more fulfilling life. The second one is the... The sunk cost fallacy. Understanding when to walk away, a lesson steeped in the wisdom of Stoicism, can dramatically transform our lives. Picture yourself engulfed in a metaphorical smoky house. The air is thick, visibility low, and each breath a struggle. The environment is clearly detrimental to your well-being, yet you linger. Why? This inertia can often be attributed to the sunk cost fallacy a psychological trap that convinces us to persist in detrimental situations because of our prior investments, be it time, effort, emotional energy, or financial resources. Consider the example of a marriage that has soured. Couples often invest immeasurably in their relationships, dedicating years, perhaps decades, to a partner. When such a union crumbles beyond repair, the decision to leave is overshadowed by the sheer volume of invested emotions and shared life experiences. Despite the clear signs that the relationship is causing more harm than good, the daunting prospect of acknowledging these investments as losses can paralyze us. It's the sunk cost fallacy at work, misleading us into believing that abandoning our current path would nullify all prior efforts, that somehow staying the course will magically convert these past investments into future gains. But let's clear the air. Recognizing this fallacy can empower us to make decisions that prioritize our current and future well being over past expenditures. It guides us to assess our situations with clarity and to act in our best interest. Reflect on this. How many moments spent in the smoky confines of a stagnant relationship, an unfulfilling job, or any other unfavorable condition are moments forfeited in the pursuit of a healthier, happier life? Imagine a scenario in today's bustling corporate world where Emma, a dedicated employee, finds herself in a toxic work environment. Despite her hard work, the atmosphere is stifling her growth and well-being. The realization dawns upon her that her five-year tenure and the long hours spent in hopes of a promotion have become chains rather than letters. By understanding the sunk cost fallacy, Emma makes a bold decision to seek opportunities where her efforts are valued, turning her back on the unrecoverable investments in favor of potential new successes. As you reflect on your own life, consider where you might be ignoring the exit signs because of what you've already poured into a situation. Are there areas where you're inhaling the smog of dissatisfaction simply because you've invested a lot into them? What might you gain if you choose to walk away? In embracing this stoic lesson, 
we learn that acknowledging sunk costs as irrevocable allows us to break free from past anchors and move towards a life filled with better prospects. Remember, walking away isn't about admitting defeat, it's about intelligently choosing battles worth fighting for and recognizing when perseverance turns into futility. By making these tough choices, we reclaim our energy and time, redirecting them to paths that enrich and fulfill us. Thus, as we conclude, reflect on this. How might your life improve if you chose to walk away from situations that no longer serve you? And what brighter futures could you embrace by letting go of the past? The third one is the, the opportunity cost. Have you ever stood at a crossroads pondering whether to stay put in a challenging situation or to walk away in search of something better? It's a dilemma we all face at some point, and today we're going to explore this with the help of some timeless wisdom. Let's talk about the opportunity cost, a concept that, while rooted in economics, is incredibly relevant to our personal lives. Opportunity cost means that when we choose one option over another, we automatically forego the potential benefits of the path not taken. Imagine, if you will, living in a house filled with smoke. Figuratively or literally, the air is thick, your breathing is labored, and every day is a struggle. Right next door there might be a house with clean air, excellent ventilation, and even air conditioning. By choosing to stay in your current situation, you're not just enduring the harm, you're also missing out on the comfort and peace that could be yours. Why do we often choose to stay in harmful situations? Is it fear of the unknown, or perhaps the devil we know seems safer than the devil we don't? Seneca, a Stoic philosopher, once said, It is not because things are difficult that we do not dare. It is because we do not dare that things are difficult. This invites us to consider, What are the risks of not walking away? Beyond the immediate discomfort, what deeper opportunities for personal growth, new experiences, and fulfilling relationships are we sacrificing? The decision to stay or leave often gets muddled by the emotional weights we carry. Humans, after all, are complex beings driven by myriad forces, some logical, others deeply emotional. We might defy logic, propelled by unacknowledged fears or desires that even we might not fully understand. It's crucial to acknowledge this complexity because it shapes every decision we make. As we shift back into rational mode, let's delve deeper into the concept of opportunity cost in the context of walking away. It's not just about what we're leaving behind, but also about what we might gain. What new doors could open if we choose to step away from a stifling situation? What new versions of ourselves might we meet? What new stories could we tell? Now I invite you to reflect. What might you be holding on to that's holding you back? Could letting go potentially lead you to a life you've always imagined? One filled with adventures, renewed energy, and deeper connections? Sometimes the cost of staying where we are is far greater than we realize. As we wrap up today's episode, I urge you to think about the opportunities that await you on the other side of a tough decision. Remember, every choice we make shapes not just our present, but also our future. What will your next choice be? Walking away is often a leap of faith. Walking away is often a courageous act, one that philosopher Marcus Aurelius might call a deliberate attempt to align with the flow of life, rather than resisting it. He famously advised, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. Indeed, choosing to leave behind a familiar setting or situation is not merely about escaping something undesirable. It's about embracing the vast potential of what lies ahead. This realization can transform the daunting prospect of the unknown into a hopeful journey toward new experiences and opportunities. Consider this. Every decision to walk away is also a step toward something else, toward the new, the unexplored, or the previously unthinkable. This isn't about wandering into a void, but rather stepping into a world brimming with possibilities. There's an entire globe out there, rich with opportunities, filled with over 7 billion lives all moving and changing. When we decide to leave something behind, we are not stepping out into emptiness, 
but into a space that can be filled with whatever we choose to pursue. In this light, the act of walking away mirrors the leap of faith Alan Watts spoke of, asserting that the only way to make sense out of change is to plunge into it, move with it, and join the dance. Why then do we hesitate? Our reluctance often stems from a fear of loss, a dread of what might happen if we let go of what's familiar. Yet, what we often overlook in our fear is that the familiar may be stifling us, holding us back from potential growth and new experiences. Our identities and lives are complex tapestries woven from countless threads. Some need to be removed to make room for new patterns to emerge. Moreover, it's vital to recognize that we never truly walk away with nothing. Every experience, every relationship, every challenge we decide to leave behind carries valuable lessons. Like seeds that, once replanted, can grow in more fertile soil, these lessons become the building blocks for our future selves. They help us build a new life, one hopefully filled with clearer, healthier air than the smoky rooms we've dared to exit. In conclusion, Embracing the stoic belief in the impermanence of things can profoundly change our perspective on change and loss. By understanding that every end is a new beginning, we learn to view walking away not as an end, but as a crucial part of our continuous journey through life. As we traverse this path, let us hold fast to the wisdom of those who walked it before us, finding in their words the strength to let go when necessary and the courage to move forward into the new chapters of our lives. This life is yours, so don't use someone else's map to find your way. In life, everyone has their own path, and no one can walk it for you. Don't rush to follow someone else's map just because you admire them. 1. Life has countless ways to live. Choose the one that suits you. Life offers a vast array of paths, and the challenge is to find the one that best fits who you are and what you value. Each person's journey is uniquely their own. Some people prefer to observe from the sidelines, others dive into the fray with Zek, and there are those who chase their dreams with unwavering passion. But amidst this diversity, a singular truth emerges. The most fulfilling way to live is to live for yourself. We have but one life. Why spend it living up to the expectations of others instead of pursuing what genuinely makes us happy? Alex a software developer by trade, but a musician at heart. Alex spent years in a lucrative tech job because it was the sensible choice. However, every spare moment was spent dreaming of the stage. It wasn't until a stoic reflection on the nature of control and happiness that Alex decided to step away from the security of tech to pursue music full-time. Now, thriving in a smaller house and with fewer material possessions, Alex has never felt richer performing music that stirs souls, including his own. This tale mirrors a stoic principle. External riches weigh little compared to the treasure of knowing oneself and living authentically. It begs the question, are you living true to yourself, or are you playing a role dictated by others' scripts? Engage with this question, reflect on it, and discuss it among friends or in the comments below. The discussion itself can be enlightening. As we navigate through life, we must be vigilant in our pursuits. The Stoics taught us that not all paths are worth walking. They championed the art of discernment, knowing when to forge ahead and when to walk away. Walking away is not about giving up. It's about choosing battles wisely and conserving energy for endeavors that truly matter. It's about not letting the cost of what you want cloud your judgment whether it's a matter of spending money on momentary pleasures or investing time in thankless tasks. In closing, remember that the essence of a well-lived life isn't measured by external accomplishments or the approval of others, but by the joy and peace that come from within. As you consider your path, ask yourself if it leads you towards genuine happiness and self-fulfillment. The journey of life is not about adhering to a prescribed script. It's about crafting your own story where you are the protagonist who knows when to persist and when to depart. Take this knowledge, apply it, and watch as your life aligns more closely with your deepest values and aspirations. 2. When you trust, you will find your own way. In navigating the labyrinth of life, 
the decision to walk away is often as crucial as the choice to persevere. The ancient wisdom of Stoicism teaches us that not all paths are meant to be followed to their end. Instead, understanding when to retreat can be an act of courage and a testament to our resilience. As you listen, imagine yourself at a crossroads where each decision shapes your destiny. Life, in its unvarnished truth, is complex and fraught with challenges. At times, it can be an arduous journey marked by pain, confusion, and the occasional desire to surrender. You may find yourself wanting to cry out in frustration or curl up in the face of relentless adversities. The world, in its chaotic essence, often leaves us second-guessing our next steps, fearful of the unknown that lies ahead. Yet, in these moments of doubt, if you pause and trust in your own inner compass, a clear direction can emerge. Trusting yourself is foundational. As Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic philosopher, once said, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. It's in this stillness and trust that a motivating goal can crystallize, propelling you forward, carving a path through the obstacles the world throws your way. But what about when moving forward seems to yield nothing but more obstacles? It's essential to recognize that the absence of immediate good results doesn't imply a futile endeavor. The path may not be smooth or straight, yet each challenge, each setback is there not merely to obstruct but to forge and refine your resolve. Believe in the journey, even when it's arduous. As the old saying goes, what does not kill us makes us stronger. There are certain burdens we must carry alone, certain pains we must endure without the expectation of empathy or understanding from others. It might hurt, and in the throes of struggle, it may seem that no one else can truly comprehend the depth of your trials. Yet, it is in these solitary battles that our spirit is tested and our character shaped. Over time, many of these trials will fade into the backdrop of your memories, and the hardships you have endured will not go unrecognized. The rewards, often intangible, come in the form of personal growth, a deeper understanding of your own strengths and weaknesses, and a more profound appreciation for the journey itself. Now ask yourself, have there been moments in your life when walking away seemed like the only option, yet you chose to stay the course? What were the outcomes of these decisions? Reflect on these experiences and consider how they have sculpted the person you are today. As we explore these life lessons, it's vital to remain connected, not only to our inner selves, but also to those guiding principles that steer us back to our paths when we stray. Life's labyrinth is navigable, and with trust in oneself and the wisdom to know when to advance or retreat, each step becomes a deliberate stride toward our ultimate destination. In concluding, remember that the choice to walk away should never be seen as a failure, but as a strategic decision that aligns with your deepest values and long-term visions. In the words of Epictetus, another sage of Stoicism, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Whether you choose to forge ahead or take a step back, do so with conviction and let your stoic wisdom illuminate the way. Engage with these thoughts and feel free to share your insights and reflections. How has trusting your path shaped your journey so far? What wisdom can you offer from the times you chose to walk away? 3. Live as yourself, and life will have no regrets. In a world where every experience shapes us, the art of Stoicism offers a compelling guide to living without regret. As we traverse through life's inevitable ups and downs, it's vital to remember that each stumble is not merely a setback, but a lesson in resilience. The ancient Stoic philosophers like Marcus Aurelius emphasized, the impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. This perspective invites us to embrace life's challenges, transforming obstacles into opportunities. Consider the simplicity required in our thoughts and actions as life unfolds. Stoicism teaches that acceptance of the inevitable, what will happen will happen, frees us from the anxieties of attempting to control the uncontrollable. By living authentically, aligned with our true selves, we can experience life fully and joyfully. This authenticity ensures that our lives are not just spent, but spent well.
trust, a cornerstone of any relationship, begins with honesty. To be honest, we must be sincere. And to be sincere, we must be true to ourselves. This chain of integrity is fundamental not only in personal relationships, but also in every interaction in our modern lives. As we navigate the complexities of today's world where authenticity often takes a back seat to convenience, embracing this stoic virtue can lead to deeper, more meaningful connections. Furthermore, our adherence to stoic principles can act as a compass in the stormy seas of modern existence. In an age where information overload and constant connectivity can lead us astray, the stoic focus on personal integrity and inner resilience is more relevant than ever. It provides a path to not just surviving but thriving amid the chaos by focusing on what truly matters, our actions and responses. Incorporating these timeless principles into our daily lives isn't just about adhering to a philosophy. It's about crafting a life of purpose and meaning. As Seneca once said, it is not what you endure that matters, but how you endure it. Applying this wisdom, we learn not only to endure life's trials, but to thrive within them, cultivating a life of no regrets by living true to ourselves. In essence, the teachings of Stoicism don't just help us navigate life. They illuminate a path to living profoundly and with purpose. As you move forward, let each step be guided not by fear or the desire to avoid failure, but by the courage to face life head-on, authentically and sincerely. In doing so, you create a life that is truly your own, marked not by the avoidance of obstacles but by your boldness in overcoming them. 4. Don't let your life be dictated by the words of others. In life, it's inevitable that you'll encounter a myriad of voices, some that lift you up and others that aim to bring you down. Amidst this cacophony, it's crucial to remember a timeless piece of wisdom. Even gold is not pure and no person is perfect. Striving to satisfy everyone is a futile endeavor. After all, for every set of arms thrown open in embrace, there may well be others folded in disapproval. People will love or despise you sing your praises or sling mud your way. You must recognize that words, whether kind or cruel, belong to their speaker. Gossip and criticism are woven into the fabric of society, and no amount of effort on your part can change that fact. Nor should you let these external opinions define your worth. Instead, anchor yourself in self-trust. When you live a life marked by honesty and integrity, there's no cause for shame or distress over the negative comments of others. Let's consider a modern scenario. Imagine a young entrepreneur who launches a startup. She faces skepticism from many corners, including doubters who believe she's too inexperienced to succeed. Rather than bowing to the naysayers, she remains focused on her vision, guided by her own principles and resilience. Her journey is tough, with obstacles aplenty, but she persists driven by a clear conscience and the authenticity of her ambitions. How does this story resonate with you? Have you ever found yourself swayed by the opinions of others only to realize that staying true to your own path was the better choice? Reflecting on this, consider your own experiences. When have you chosen to stand firm in your convictions despite the chatter around you? As we wrap up our discussion, the core message is clear. Do not let the words of others dictate the course of your life. In practicing Stoicism, you learn the art of indifference to external judgments focusing instead on your internal moral compass. The true measure of your life is not how others perceive you, but how you perceive yourself. Living with this understanding frees you from the unnecessary burdens of approval and criticism, allowing you to pursue your true potential without hesitation. What steps will you take today to live more authentically, guided by your own values and not the fleeting opinions of others? 5. When you are happy inside, your eyes will see the sunshine. When you wake each morning, do you find that yesterday's troubles are casting a shadow over today's potential? Consider this. Life is an unbroken chain of days, each presenting a new canvas upon which to paint our experiences. If we choose to drag the burdens of the past along with us, 
we risk missing out on the vibrant colors of the present and the possibilities that await us in the future. Seneca, a prominent Stoic philosopher, once said, Every new beginning comes from some other beginning's end. This perspective is a powerful reminder that in letting go, we open ourselves up to new beginnings. Now think about the last time you felt truly content. In those moments, didn't the world seem bathed in a brighter light? It's fascinating how our internal state can transform our external perceptions. This transformation is not merely about finding happiness, but about recognizing when our grip on the past or our expectations for the future might be clouding our vision. Disappointment often follows when our expectations are set too high. Have you ever found yourself holding onto a memory or a person so tightly, only to realize that it no longer brings you joy? Letting go is not an act of defeat, but a courageous step towards growth. It involves taking responsibility for our lives, both the trivial and the significant aspects. It's easy to shift blame or defer decisions to others, but true empowerment comes from owning our choices and our responses to life's challenges. Marcus Aurelius, another Stoic sage, advised, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. In your own life, when have you faced the tough decision to let go? Was it a relationship, a job, or perhaps a long-cherished dream? When the pain of holding on exceeds the pain of letting go, it's a signal that growth is on the horizon. Growth requires endurance in the face of difficulty, but it also demands the wisdom to know when perseverance has turned into needless suffering. Consider living simply for a simpler life. This doesn't mean abandoning ambition or aspiration. Rather, it's about cultivating your spirit and discovering your path, one that's lit by self-awareness and not dimmed by the shadows of others' expectations. So, how do you navigate this path of self-discovery and decision-making? How do you determine the right time to let go and move forward? As we explore these questions together, Remember that the journey of self-improvement is not about finding quick answers, but engaging in a continuous dialogue with ourselves and the world around us. What will you choose to let go of today, to make room for the new opportunities of tomorrow? This ongoing conversation with yourself is not just about making life easier. It's about making life more meaningful, fulfilling, and aligned with who you truly are. 6. Crafting Your Unique Identity in the winding journey of life, each of us must chart our own course, navigating away from the well-trodden paths that society lays out for us, toward a destiny that truly reflects our deepest values and aspirations. This endeavor, crafting your unique identity, is not simply about choosing the road less traveled. It's about understanding that the map provided by society, education, career, marriage, retirement, may not be the one that leads you to your personal fulfillment. Seneca, a luminary in the Stoic philosophy, once advised, It is not the man who has too little, but the man who craves more, that is poor. This speaks volumes about the quest for an authentic life. It begins with the recognition that your life is not meant to be a carbon copy of another's. Each individual's journey is distinct, and what brings joy and success to one may not suit another. By accepting this, you are empowered to question and alter the conventional roadmap based on your unique interests and aspirations. Moreover, carving out a path that is genuinely yours often involves embracing risk. The unknown may be intimidating, but it is also where innovation and growth take root. Consider the example of choosing a career driven by passion rather than convention. This choice, while potentially risky, can lead to profound personal satisfaction and success, illustrating that sometimes, following your heart instead of the crowd, uncovers your truest potential. However, living authentically is not a set-and-forget endeavor. It requires continual reflection and adaptation. As Marcus Aurelius put it, Very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself, in your way of thinking. This ongoing introspection ensures that the choices you make remain aligned with your evolving self. Life's constant changes are not setbacks but opportunities to refine your journey and further personalize your path. 
In essence, crafting your unique identity is about sifting through external influences and finding the advice that resonates with your personal narrative. It's about building a life that mirrors who you are at your core. Remember, you are the sole navigator of your life's journey. Only you can hold the compass to your fulfillment. In this way, we connect deeply with our own version of a life well-lived, creating a legacy of authenticity and purpose that transcends the ordinary and illustrates the profound power of living true to oneself in our modern world. 7. Embracing Solitude and Personal Growth in today's hyper-connected world, it's easy to overlook the profound role that solitude can play in personal growth. While society often celebrates the always-on, interconnected approach to life, there's a compelling case to be made for stepping back and embracing quiet moments of introspection. Let's dive into why solitude isn't just beneficial, it's essential. Imagine you're at a crossroads in your career, conflicted by what your heart desires versus what is expected of you. It's in solitude that you can tune out the noise of the world and really listen to your own inner voice. What are your true passions? What motivates you to get up every morning? Questions like these are far easier to answer in the silence of solitude, where the only expectations you need to meet are your own. This self-reflection is invaluable because it allows you to evaluate your life's direction without the filter of external influences. Moreover, spending time alone fosters a robust sense of independence. Solitude teaches you to rely on your own decision-making abilities. For instance, think about a day when you planned your schedule, solved problems, or even just chose a movie to watch on your own. Didn't you feel a certain pride and confidence in your choices? Every decision made independently reinforces your ability to stand on your own two feet, proving that while advice and companionship are valuable, the final call should always resonate with your personal values and beliefs. Consider the story of Matthew, a young software developer who felt overwhelmed by the buzzing tech industry's constant demands and social pressures. Matthew decided to take a solo weekend trip to the mountains, disconnecting from all digital devices. During this time alone, Matthew could reflect on his career and personal life without distractions. The clarity gained from these moments of solitude led him to pivot his career toward a path that aligned more authentically with his aspirations to create impactful, community-driven tech solutions. Matthew's story is a testament to the transformative power of solitude. Now think about your own experiences. When was the last time you gave yourself a true break from the social world to just sit with your thoughts? How might regular periods of solitude benefit your personal and professional life? Embracing solitude is about finding a balance. It's not an argument for hermitage, but an invitation to periodically withdraw from the social whirlwind to foster self-awareness and personal conviction. By integrating solitude into your routine, you create the space necessary to grow into your truest self, not merely a reflection of those around you. In conclusion, while humans are indeed social creatures, the value of stepping back to develop independently is immense. By allowing ourselves moments of solitude, we ensure that our growth is self-determined and deeply rooted in genuine self-understanding. So, let solitude be your sanctuary, where you can rediscover and reinvent yourself, time and time again. What will you uncover about yourself in your next quiet moment? Remember, the journey to personal fulfillment is as much about the company we keep as it is about the conversations we have with ourselves. 8. The Value of Personal Mistakes and Learnings Navigating through life by adhering strictly to the paths laid out by others might offer a semblance of safety, but it robs you of the invaluable lessons that come from charting your own course and learning from your own missteps. Personal mistakes should not be seen simply as setbacks. They are crucial experiences that forge our resilience and deepen our wisdom. Seneca, a Stoic philosopher, once remarked, Errare humanum est, which means to err is human. This sentiment underscores the intrinsic value of making and owning our errors. When you choose a path and it turns out to be incorrect, you are not merely erring. You are gaining insights that no external advice or guidance could ever provide. These are the insights that often lead to profound personal growth and a richer understanding of the world around us. 
Consider a failed business venture, for instance. Such a setback could teach you far more about the nuances of entrepreneurship, the importance of resilience, and the necessity for contingency planning than many a success story ever could. Moreover, embracing your mistakes promotes adaptability. In a world that is constantly changing, the ability to adjust to new situations and challenges is invaluable. Those who forge their own path, mistakes included, learn to pivot swiftly and are often better equipped to handle life's unpredictabilities. Have you ever found yourself sticking rigidly to a plan only to find that flexibility might have served you better? In owning our mistakes, we also foster a sense of authenticity and integrity. This helps to build a character that is grounded in reality, keenly aware of its flaws and continually striving for improvement. Such authenticity not only resonates deeply within oneself, but is also compelling to others, showcasing a person who is both self-aware and genuine. Ultimately, while the wisdom of others can illuminate certain paths, it is our own mistakes that carve out a route uniquely suited to each of us. Embrace these personal experiences. They are the true milestones of a life fully lived. Each misstep is a step toward becoming more insightful, resilient, and authentic. Now, I ask you, what mistakes have you embraced in your journey, and how have they shaped the person you are today? Let's reflect on how our individual paths marked by unique errors and lessons guide us toward a more genuine existence. Eight ways to become stronger in life that you can't miss. Life is not always smooth and it does not follow a straight path. There will be times when you face challenges that make you feel weak. Therefore, learning to be stronger in life helps us to face and overcome difficulties more easily. So, how can you become a stronger person? How can you learn to be stronger in life? Here are eight ways to strengthen your life and improve daily. 1. Cherish what you have. Cherish what you have. This simple yet profound advice can transform your approach to daily life, making it not just bearable, but vibrant and full of color. Gratitude isn't just about being thankful for what's around you. It also fuels an optimistic outlook, casting a more favorable light on everything and everyone you encounter. But let's be clear. Appreciating your current circumstances doesn't mean you've reached the end of your journey. Every day is an opportunity for growth and improvement. Push your boundaries, expand your capabilities, and never settle for mediocrity. Consider the story of Jamie, a graphic designer who felt stagnant after several years in the same job. Jamie started each morning jotting down three things she was grateful for from the previous day. This small act not only boosted her mood, but also sharpened her focus on what could be improved. Energized by this new perspective, she began taking online courses to master new design software, gradually positioning herself for the promotion she desired. Jamie's story exemplifies how gratitude can coexist with ambition, propelling us towards greater achievements. What areas in your life could benefit from this dual approach of gratitude and ambition? Could this be the key to unlocking a more fulfilling path forward by integrating a heartfelt appreciation for what you currently have with a relentless pursuit of what you could achieve? You equip yourself with a powerful toolkit for a stronger, more resilient life. This balance allows you to appreciate the present while striving for a better future. So, as you navigate your own path, remember to pause and reflect on the blessings you have and use this foundation to climb even higher. The lesson here is clear. Cherish, but also challenge. In doing so, you'll discover that the road to personal strength is both rewarding and endlessly expansive. Or two. Trust in yourself. If you're not trusting in yourself, then who will? It's crucial to embrace a mindset that firmly believes in your own abilities rather than falling into the trap of self-doubt or negative thinking. Remember, self-trust is the cornerstone of self-esteem. It's essentially a form of self-appreciation and love. Consider this wisdom from the great Ralph Waldo Emerson. Self-trust is the first secret of success. So why spend your energy comparing yourself to others? Such comparisons can diminish your sense of worth and capability. Instead, why not view the achievements of others as a source of inspiration, pushing you to strive harder 
and reach ire. When you start to feel insecure or doubtful about your abilities, ask yourself, what is one step I can take right now to reinforce my self-confidence? By shifting your perspective and focusing on personal growth, you transform envy and insecurity into motivation and self-improvement. Engaging with your journey in this way not only strengthens your resolve, but also encourages you to appreciate your unique path and progress. Isn't it empowering to know that you hold the keys to bolstering your confidence and embracing a fuller, more successful life? 3. Manage your time effectively. In the unyielding march of time, every second counts and stands as a testament to life's fleeting nature. Managing your time effectively is not merely about avoiding regrets. It's about embracing each moment with purpose and precision. The wise Stoic philosopher Seneca once admonished, It is not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. Those who lead strong, impactful lives understand this deeply. They prioritize their commitments, focus on what truly matters, and structure their days to maximize productivity without succumbing to the frantic pace of modern existence. Consider the power of a well-organized day where each task is allocated its due time. This practice transforms the abstract concept of time management into a tangible daily victory. Such individuals are adept at distinguishing between the urgent and the important, and they wield this discernment to foster a life that is not only busy, but genuinely fulfilling. By aligning daily actions with long-term goals, they ensure that their energy contributes to personal growth and the achievement of their ambitions. In today's fast-paced world, where distractions are plentiful and time seems scarce, adopting this strategic approach to time management is crucial. It enables one to navigate life's demands with composure and effectiveness. As we reflect on these principles, remember the words of Benjamin Franklin, do not squander time, for that's the stuff life is made of. By mastering the art of time management, we empower ourselves to lead lives marked by strength, purpose, and resilience. 4. Do not be governed by emotions. In our journey through life, it's inevitable that we'll face moments teeming with stress and high emotions. These instances can sometimes dictate our actions, leading to choices that might not align with our long-term goals or ideals, whether in our careers, personal lives, or relationships. The key to navigating these turbulent waters? Mastering the art of emotional regulation. Consider Sarah, a project manager, who found herself at the helm of a high-stakes project. As deadlines approached and tensions mounted among her team, she felt her stress levels skyrocket. Instead of succumbing to the frustration and anxiety, Sarah took a step back. She focused on deep breathing techniques and prioritized clear, calm communication with her team. By controlling her emotions, Sarah not only steered the project back on track, but also bolstered her reputation as an effective leader. How do you handle high-pressure situations? Do you let emotions lead the way? Or do you take a moment to compose yourself? Those who learn to balance their emotions don't just find temporary relief. They cultivate a skill that propels them towards long-term success and stability. As we reflect on this, remember that the power to remain calm and in control is not just a reactive measure. It's a proactive approach to crafting a life where you are the architect of your actions, not your emotions. Let this be a lesson that staying composed under pressure isn't just about overcoming a single stressful moment. It's about building a foundation for enduring success and well-being. 5. Maintain a positive attitude. As we journey through life's unpredictable twists and turns, maintaining a positive attitude is absolutely essential to building resilience and strength. Have you ever noticed how some people manage to find a silver lining, even in the darkest of clouds? This isn't just luck, it's a powerful positive mindset at work. Psychologist William James once said, The greatest discovery of any generation is that a human can alter his life by altering his attitudes. When you choose to focus on the positive aspects of any situation, you're not only protecting yourself from the debilitating effects of negativity, but also paving the way to uncover opportunities hidden within challenges. It's about seeing the glass half full, even when it's tempting to view it as half empty. 
How do you usually react to setbacks? Do you let them define you, or do you find strength in seeking out the lesson and moving forward with renewed vigor? Embracing this mindset is more than just a way to get through the tough times. It's a strategy to thrive, allowing you to navigate life's complexities with grace and courage. By maintaining a hopeful and positive spirit, you're equipped to handle psychological issues more effectively and overcome crises with ease. Remember, every challenge carries with it the seed of an equal or greater opportunity. What opportunities might you be overlooking in your current challenges? 6. Find your passion. Finding and nurturing your passion is not merely a suggestion. It's a mandate for those seeking to fortify their existence. Each individual harbors unique passions that, when actively pursued, transform life from a mundane sequence of events into a vibrant journey marked by zeal and fulfillment. The relentless pursuit of these passions fuels our daily motivation, granting us the energy and courage to tackle challenges head-on. Seneca, a renowned Stoic philosopher, wisely stated, Our plans miscarry because they have no aim. When a man does not know what harbor he is making for, no wind is the right wind. This speaks to the power of knowing and pursuing your passions. They are not just hobbies, but beacons guiding your life's decisions, illuminating your path towards personal and professional fulfillment. In this modern age where life's demands can seem overwhelming, aligning your daily actions with your passions can provide a sanctuary of purpose and excitement. For men between the ages of 30 and 65, discovering your passion can mean the difference between a life of mere existence and one of active engagement. Whether it's woodworking, writing, or engaging in community service, diving deep into these interests not only enhances your skills, but also builds your confidence and resilience. Remember, as you refine your passions, you refine yourself. Moreover, Embedding your pursuits into the very fabric of your life can act as a strong foundation upon which you can face life's vicissitudes with unwavering strength. This approach not only makes you stronger, but also more adaptable in the face of adversity. By understanding and integrating your passions into your daily routine, you embrace a life of continuous growth and learning, a life where each day holds the promise of progress and personal evolution. Embrace your passions as they are your true north. As Marcus Aurelius aptly put it, the impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. Let this principle guide you by pursuing what ignites your spirit. You not only enrich your own life but also inspire those around you to follow suit, thus fostering a community of driven and fulfilled individuals. Seven. Regularly exercise to stay healthy. Maintaining your health through regular exercise isn't just for athletes or fitness enthusiasts. It's essential for everyone, regardless of age. Embracing daily physical activity is not only beneficial for your body, but crucial for your mental clarity and overall performance in life's various roles. Picture yourself mastering the challenges of your day with ease and confidence. This becomes more attainable with a robust health regimen. Consider crafting a personalized care plan that suits your lifestyle and preferences. This could include anything from yoga in the morning, a midday walk, or weight training in the evening. The key is consistency and enjoyment, ensuring that you're not just going through the motions but genuinely enriching your life with activities that you look forward to each day. Have you ever noticed how a simple change in your routine, like adding some form of exercise, can significantly alter your outlook and energy levels? John a software developer who found himself bogged down by the monotony of remote work. When he started cycling regularly, not only did his health improve, but his productivity and creativity at work saw remarkable enhancements. This shift didn't just benefit him physically, but also breathed new life into his daily routine. Now, why not reflect on how you can integrate physical activity into your schedule? What are some exercises you enjoy and how can they be woven into your daily life to foster better health and greater zest for life? Remember, the strength you develop from your fitness journey translates into strength in facing life's challenges, making each day not just manageable, but meaningful. Through this commitment to your health, 
you're setting the stage for a richer, more vibrant life. 8. Think carefully before making decisions. In your journey through life, each decision you make, whether it seems minor or monumental, casts a ripple across the waters of your future. So, how do you navigate these choices to ensure that you're steering toward the best possible outcomes? It's crucial to pause and reflect deeply before deciding. Picture yourself at a crossroads. One path veers into the unknown, laden with potential, while another might circle back to familiar ground. What do you choose? As you contemplate your options, remember the wise words of Benjamin Franklin, Take time for all things. Great haste makes great waste. By giving yourself the space to consider all aspects of your decision, you can avoid unnecessary risks and the turbulence of regret. But what happens when the right choice isn't clear? Have you ever faced a moment like this? And what did you learn from it? Reflecting on these experiences not only sharpens your decision-making skills, but also empowers you to build a stronger, more resilient path forward. Engage with these thoughts, and let's explore together how thoughtful deliberation can transform the landscape of your life. In today's video, we've delved deep into the significant yet often challenging decision of when to walk away. Whether it's a relationship, a job, or even a long-cherished dream, the act of walking away isn't a sign of defeat but a declaration of strength and autonomy. It's about recognizing when the costs outweigh the benefits, understanding the grip of sunk costs, and evaluating the potential opportunities that await beyond our current predicaments. Walking away is indeed a leap of faith, a leap towards greater self-respect, new opportunities, and personal growth. It's about not just escaping the smoke, but seeking fresher, cleaner air. In the words of Epictetus, it's knowing when the house is too smoky to stay and having the courage to step outside. As we close this discussion, I encourage you to not just ponder these concepts, but to actively apply them in your life. If today's topic resonated with you or sparked a thought, Please like this video and share it with others who might benefit. Subscribe to Stoic in Your Life and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on our upcoming videos where we continue to explore the profound insights of Stoicism tailored for the modern hustle. Thank you for watching and remember, every step away from what no longer serves you is a step towards something much greater. Walk boldly and carve your path with clarity and courage. Thank <laughs> you.